guys, Constantine here. Today we're gonna talk about what we can do to survive this current GPU shortage and to make it through um, if we're building a PC or if we're looking for a GPU at the moment. Um, there aren't many solutions um, to go through. Um, the one that I could uh, tell you about uh, is we're gonna discuss it in a minute. Um, first thing we could do is just wait it out if you currently have a PC and you're looking for a GPU but you can't find one on MSRP because of scalpers and e miners out there but you, if you can afford to wait afford to wait I would recommend to do so because as we all know ethereum um, 2.0 is coming it's confirmed it will be here in June this year which means that most of the miners won't have uh, anything to mine in their GPUs which means that the GPU market is gonna see a flood of uh, mining car GPUs, more or less used or not. Um, what that means, the GPU prices will be going down, the demand for GPUs won't be as high, so that means we're gonna see them in stores again. And hopefully in the second half of 2022, the GPU supply should, should normalize. Also, Intel, is gonna bring some GPUs on the market. Um, it's gonna be mostly mainstream GPUs, but still they're gonna be good GPUs, usable, usable and stuff like that. So again, uh, supply is gonna increase. Plus, um, I believe uh, both AMD and Nvidia are saying that they're gonna increase supplies. Um, also, uh, CES 2022, um, there's gonna be some new GeForce models announced and new uh, AMD models that have been announced like GeForce 3050 and uh, Radeon 6500. Um, it's a given these are low-end GPUs, but again, it's gonna be more GPUs on the market, uh, which hopefully should should bring some some uh, end some form of ending of this uh, um, GPU shortage that we've been going through the past uh, year or so now the thing I want to discuss with you guys today is um, what if you just need a cheap GPU just to get you through or um, um, just literally to unbox this uh, GeForce 710 tell you guys what it's used for and uh, if it's worth buying or not now the reason why I've got it here it's because um, I've just seen it in stores to be honest um, I wasn't expected for it to be in stores now it's it's a 2014 model but uh, if you go and scan or overclock it or um, any website like that you're gonna find GPUs like this one uh, available that's because literally there's no stock for other type of GPUs and people still need to be PCs do apologize about my dog I think uh, the postman is coming or something like that so um, the issue is why would you buy in 2022 a GPU which is designed in 2014 well apart from uh, the current um, GPU shortage that we've got there's a couple of reasons I'm gonna go through them and also uh, what I could just go through is a quick unboxing of this card tell you a couple of things about it tell you if it's worth buying or not and why should you buy this particular model and um, yeah let's go for it so first of all a um, oh my god the dog is quite noisy today sorry about that <laughs> I'm gonna try to cut it out I think it's gonna get suppressed by my suppressing technology in the mic but we don't know so the uh, big question I've asked myself before getting this card is why do I need it um, and there's a couple of options that I could think of for myself and for a regular user so a um, it's a very weak card it's among the weakest card at the moment if you would have told me last year that they're still manufacturing and selling this I would have laughed in your face but uh, as I said you, you can find them in a store right now uh, on Amazon on scan on overclockers and stuff like that so um, let's quickly go through the description so this one is a GeForce GT 710 GPU it's got 2 gig of GDDR5 memory it's got no cooler it's a one slot card um, and specs are let me just uh, read them to you there's not much to read to be honest it's 950 megahertz uh, it's under a gigahertz of stock uh, base clock not base clock base clock yeah for the, the core 
uh, the memory is GDDR5, but I believe they were introduced to GDDR3 when they came out. But uh, obviously, because they kept manufacturing this um, this year, they're using GDDR5 for it. Uh, um, you've got a 64 gig bit memory bus, um, and yeah, that's it pretty much. Now let's do a quick unboxing. So, it this is a card. It you guess you just get the card in here. I wouldn't expect for more. Um, so this is the card itself. It has a decent radiator on top. It's quite thick. Um, it doesn't get too warm it reaches 30 40 degrees under idle so idle temp about 30 degrees depending on your room temperature use um, when it's unused let's say 40 something degrees so what they've done to it in 2021 is obviously you use it uses a pcie 1x um slot so you can put it in the little slots in the motherboard or you can fit in a normal pcie 8x 16x slot as well and what they've done is obviously they removed the DVI ports that they used to have. So they've added four HDMI ports because what you could actually use it for is just to um, uh, connect multiple monitors to your PC. Um, just as a monitor output, that it will work. So that is a, a, um, a good, good thing to it. The PCB layout, it has been refreshed and I can see that this is like... Um, they're using new bits and bobs, so this is definitely like a 2020-2021 manufacturing um, technology. Um, and yeah, that's it. You just stick it in. It is recognizable by Windows 10 and Windows 11. Drivers are, um, um, they will be found by your computer. I do believe that, Wind that NVIDIA is not supporting this model of cars anymore, so the driver you're going to get is going to be 450 something. Uh, in terms of performance, um, to be honest, um, what you get is what you pay for. Hugo! Hugo! So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's struggling, guys. Um, but what you can do with it is you can just install it, get a GPU going. If um, you don't have a GPU uh, with your processor like the Intel series, like uh, the, the, any series from Intel that I have right here, that, that's the case for the 12900K. Um, if you don't have an embedded uh, GPU in your CPU, um, you could get it like the Ryzen CPUs. That, um, if you're, it's not the G series, they won't have a GPU embedded. So you need one of these guys so you could, your computer can run, otherwise you won't. So that's the cases I would recommend it for. What can you do with it? Well, uh, web browsing, um, office documents, um, anything as light as that um, you can watch movies I've tried using it in a Plex server and um, on the Nvidia webpage there is no um, there is no um, description about this GPU having an NVENC encoder decoder which means as a Plex server you, you can't use it for hardware acceleration and hardware encoding and decoding so if you plan to use it like that, um, it's really, um, I wouldn't recommend it. You would either go uh, slightly higher. You could search for a secondhand 10 series, even the 1030s or 1050 Ti's, I've seen them. They're north of 100 pounds, uh, slightly more expensive, um, but that will suit you better in a Plex environment rather than this one. Um, Again, this one you can find it for, I think, around 80 to 90 pounds uh, online at the moment. So, um, why would you need this card in 2021? As we discussed, um, A, you're waiting for a GPU, you can't find it, and you just need your PC to run. Uh, B, you need to output to multiple monitors. Um, and C, um, I can't really think of a C. Yeah. There's not many options why you would need it to be honest why would you get it well let's say uh well i could f i found an option for c now see your gpu broke down you need another one but you can't afford to buy one in the current market so if your computer was, is desperately in need for a gpu and you can't afford to get one at the moment just get this one to get you through and you'll be on your way um 
if you're using it in a headless PC as well so let's say you've got um, a PC that you're using as a storage server or whatever server and it doesn't have uh, embedded GPU in the CPU yeah you can get this one totally recommend it the remote desktop connection is not great but um, it's 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 usable it's usable um, so any headless PC you just keep there somewhere and you just need a GPU so you can boot yeah get this one any other activity you're trying to do today uh, on your PC I totally would not recommend this GPU for because it's not it doesn't offer you many features as I said uh, it doesn't have an NVENC encoder decoder so you can't um, really encode decode um, movies with it properly it will struggle uh, because of the low memory you can't really do much with it as well so um, within Windows after booting up it used about 50% of its memory which is 1 gig obviously it uses the RAM a little bit as well so it has a what's called a shared memory so it can use the RAM it, if it requires but it will struggle um, yeah so <laughs> to be honest it's not bad at the moment because it still gives you a way to just put put a GPU in your PC and running run it but again um, just get it if you're in desperate need for a GPU again you can get this one on next day delivery on Amazon even um, and just run with it for a while it's got a decent resale value so you can find it used for about 40 pounds I've done that um, as well and again it doesn't heat up too much and it's a one slot GPU so one slot this one goes out a little bit the memory on it is Samsung so it's got a good memory it's got a refresh layout uh, it's quite um, modern but again um, only get it strictly get it if you need it strictly get it if you are requiring minimum um, resources from your GPU and again do not get it for a media computer like with a, all kind of media that you're trying to use do not get it for that one if you need to extend your displays yeah sure thing go for it um, yeah hopefully this is useful for you and again um, if you've got any questions about it please please put them in the description please put them in the comments and I'll, I'll do some stuff I'll put the link for where you can find this GPU and pricing and description in the description of the YouTube video and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching cheers bye